All right, I'm gonna show you guys how I tested this sensor. Using no special tools, just multimeter. You pick one up for five bucks at Harbor Freight or whatever. All right, we put it to DC voltage. Come over here, Justin. All right, so we got our sensor out, right? All right, what you wanna do is test this. Get that sensor out of there. Hold that to ground, or maybe we could just put it in there. Hopefully that's a good, yeah, that'll stay. We come over to our wiring harness with the key on, engine off. We got five volts on both outside prongs. Five volts right there. And your middle should be a ground. Make sure it's a good ground. Put your tester on positive. Then your black lead in the middle and it should go to, uh, go ahead, put it on power. Boom, and it should go to 12 volts. We're good. Now, if you plug the sensor in, do, 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 do. All right, so your red wire, it looks like it's like brown and white. Brown and white should always remain at five volts. So you can probe test it with the end of this. It's not good for your wires, but whatever. And it's five volts, right? Now, the green, green and white wire, the other outside wire. Now, we got our tester on the ground terminal of the battery. We're gonna ground that sensor and it should go to zero when it's grounded. I'm trying to get a good ground here. You can see it flickering as I rub it against the AC line. I'm trying to get a good ground. I should really run like a ground test wire for the, for the video. Anyways, it'll drop to zero if it's a good ground on the tip of the sensor. Right there, it dropped to zero for a second. So this AC line is, is actually grounded on this vehicle so I can rub it against it, but it's really dirty. Off camera, I, I put a ground to it and it dropped down to zero. That's what you're looking for is five volts drops down to zero. Now, while this sensor was warm, the voltage was at, uh, was at 0.5 all the time, whether it was grounded or not. So I cooled the sensor down and uh, then it started working normally. So when this tip of the sensor is grounded, it should be at zero volts. And then when it's not grounded, it's back up to five volts. But after the, cool, after the sensor cooled down, it was working normally. While it was hot, it would just stay at, it was like, 0.5 just for no reason 0.54 volts so i know the sensor's bad that's how we test that i hope i explained it good did i explain it all right justin that yeah sound about right yeah i think you nailed all right. it all right so we know we got a bad cam sensor so let's go replace it highly recommend use an oem part not some cheap napa brand or auto value brand or something and uh, we're gonna replace it and see if it takes care of the code. Most of the time it's not the cam sensor, it seems like. It's some other problem, but for this one, it's the cam sensor. 